Hey everyone, so here we have the Concept X by Nitro Planes. Now as you all know, I don't really like Nitro Planes myself. Uh, I find their products and electronics to be pretty low quality and oftentimes they break down on me within the first few flights. That being said, I bought this as an airframe only and I put in all quality E-Flight and Park Zone parts. Uh, inside the unit we have a little pilot in there too. Inside here we have, you know, the AR6100E uh, receiver by Spectrum. Uh, we have all the servos in here. I don't know if you can see many of them. Uh, in here we have Park Zone SV80s. <coughs> For the rudder we have uh, E Flight S75s. Uh, it's all Park Zone and E Flight servos. Trust those a lot more. Never had a problem with any of those. Uh, I put on my own push rods. Uh, these are different than what came in the kit and also the push rods I always uh, tape them or use a little rubber band around them so that they won't come undone or break You never want those breaking in the air. So if you put a little piece of tape uh, Around the push rod at the end where it connects. Uh, it's not going to break at all from stress uh, As you can see I painted up the plane a little bit. My paint job isn't great uh, But I put some just paint on it just to kind of make it my own, you know, wrote my YouTube on it and uh, just put some lines on it. I drew the elevators and the uh, ailerons black. So uh, just that for fun. But um, when I got this, it was peeling apart. Not very good. I used some high quality epoxy. I went to the hardware store. And I recommend if you're building any type of plane or jet, and especially if you're getting it from a cheap Chinese uh, uh, distributor, really suggest going to the hardware store and getting some good quality epoxy. Hardware store or the uh, hobby store. Uh, I got some Gorilla epoxy and I got some Loctite epoxy and there's other brands too. There's a JB Weld and some other great brands uh, that are going to give you a lot better results and a lot stronger hold. So we went ahead and built this jet and we got something extra to put on it. Still have to add this. Let me show you this real quick though, the uh, battery compartment. It used to have some foam here sticking up and it kind of split the battery compartment into two. That's because this section right where my fingers are is supposed to be the battery compartment and then there was a foam piece here dividing it and right here I'm pretty sure in the stock ready to fly this is where the receiver goes. Well the receiver fits up here just fine. So instead of having the receiver and the ESC around here, I cut this out so the battery compartment is bigger. It'll hold a 4-cell 2200, even a little bit bigger battery. So it's going to be running on a 4-cell 2200 instead of the stock 1300 3-cell. So a lot bigger battery, a lot more powerful. And I'll talk about the fan unit and ESC different too. And then uh, one thing that was also out in the review of this plane, the uh, guy that reviewed it for the company said there's an intake hole, but there's no outtake. That's actually wrong. Uh, there is an outtake or uh, exhaust in the back here where I've got my wires. It's not the biggest hole, but it actually is pretty large. Compared to the intake hole, it's larger. Where those wires are, this goes straight back and out down into the fan unit and out the back. So there is an intake and outtake. He didn't know what he was talking about there, if you guys have watched the stock video. So you don't really need to add any extra holes. It's not a pressurized cabin like he said. There is an outtake or an exhaust. Uh, so I went ahead and put in the E-Flight Delta V 4000 kV fan unit. And also, I don't know if you could see it, maybe we should look from the front. Put my E-Flight 60 amp ESC right there in front of the fan and I epoxied it to the top there. I felt it really hard and it's really stuck on. It should be good. I used some uh, high temperature epoxy. It should hold on just fine. And then I also uh, clamped in the wires back here for the uh, front of the SC. So if it does come undone there, it's not going to fall into the fan because the wires would hold it up. Uh, so I'll check that, make sure it stays in place, but it should be fine. And the one So uh, there's the Nitroplanes Concept X, the kit version. And uh, if you buy the kit version, a uh, few little things you should know. First off, the body or the main fuselage appears to be together when it comes out of the box. It is not. It's like taped together with double-sided tape 
very horribly done and it just splits apart if you pull it with very much force at all. So what you're going to want to do is pull the body into two pieces completely apart. It splits right down the middle and then you're going to want to epoxy the whole body together. If you try to just leave it as it is, it'll split in the air. The wind force will pull the front apart and it'll flop off in the air and your whole plane will just be destroyed. So make sure to peel apart the body and epoxy it all together. Get rid of their cheaply done little tape that they have. Uh, the main wings are just fine. Have a carbon rod which doesn't really do anything but doesn't really go out far enough and it doesn't even, I mean it, it might help a little bit but it's glued really good with these uh, little notches that they have. So it does have a carbon rod that you epoxy in. And then uh, see here the wing you need a, it fits into this front part, it's got a notch and then it's got a notch that goes in the back so you need to take off the uh, EDF container and then put it back on and the wing will be held on. Now I th they have a screw for the wing I don't trust just screwing it on so I also epoxied on the wing. Uh, make sure <laughs> that you get rid of all the glue, uh, all the paint especially under the control arm links here. There's paint under these and if you glue, and these are not on, you have to glue these on yourself. So if you glue them onto the paint, when you go up in the air, the force is just going to rip them off, your plane is going to fall to the ground. So what I did is I used some tape to peel off the paint, and then I used the end of a screwdriver and just kind of, you know, brought it back and forth in here and scraped away all the paint on all the control uh, arm connections. And then I put those on with really strong epoxy. Now the only weak part that I'm finding in the plane is the main wings are pretty strong. They seem fairly sturdy. They should hold up just fine. But the elevators or horizontal stabs are pretty bendy. So I might want to stiffen those up with a little bit of a carbon rod or something because they're pretty darn bendy. And you know this isn't the stock setup. I put in some extra power so I, I just don't like how bendy those are. They might be okay but kind of bendy. Uh, other than that, it's, uh, you know, it takes about, I don't know, about two hours actually to build it if you buy the kit version. If you buy the, you know, ready to fly, it'll take, you know, half an hour probably. But, uh, there's the Concept X and we'll get it in the air for you guys really soon. I'm going to do one, one touch pass. So this first pass, just let me, let me just kind of see where I'm going to be flying at. That wasn't full speed even, I was just testing. Alright, let's get in line and do it. <laughs> yeah, it's only like half speed. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, here we come in. In a second, I want to get a little farther out. Jim. We're too far away. Don't say zero. It didn't read. Damn it. I did exactly what Eric did. <laughs> oh, you did it. I held the button, pointed it at it. No, you're holding it like this. Point it with the. Point down to the ground. Oh, like point that? that back at it, like no. the back of the thing. Oh, wait. Yeah, like no, wait. This like is that. the. Pretend that's the gun. Okay. Don't put your finger up under the radar. Okay. okay. Yeah, I don't want to be in the way. Coming right in there. Always point the flat at it. There you go, 98. 98. Oh, yeah. All right, let's try to get over 100 here. Okay, hold on. That's coming right at you. Okay. Put it on, put it on. Okay. Hold it, just keep holding it. Yeah. Whoa. 96. That's okay. close. <laughs> Man, you can't even break a Honda with this one? Oh, I have 99, 98, and 96 here. <laughs> Damn, I passed 99. I got a 98. 39 was quicker. Oh, 39 is a little bit more streamlined, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to bring it down and land it. That's fast.